Hi everybody, I'm Joseph. I haven't really shown my face in uh, my channel, so here it is. Handsome, isn't it? Anyways, uh, I just thought today I would do a uh, fish room tour of all the fish tanks that I have. And just, just tell you guys all of the fish that I have. Let's get into it. Alrighty then, starting off we have the... 90 gallon tank flip the camera around real quick there we go the 90 gallon tank sorry about all the noise in the background it's just all the filters on it but in the 90 gallon we have a longfin oscar two koi fish because why not a baby jaguar two cichlids uh baby peacock african hybrids a common pleco, nothing too much. And behind there, you can kind of see his tail right there. It's an Arrowini catfish. And I got him for 10 bucks because at the store, they called him a Ralph catfish. And I was like, it's not a Ralph, but I'll take it. We also have a, a, a Bicher in here. Um, He likes to hide in the plants a lot. He's actually pretty big. Um, I don't see him out right now. Uh, I will do a feeding of all the tanks too, so that all the fish come out for you guys. There are also two zigzag eels. They all look pretty much like to hide behind the pots. But I'll make sure to do a feeding for you guys so you can see all the fish in here. See if we can get a good view through this angle. See them. Nope. Still hiding a little bit. Alright, they should come out during feeding though, so I'll make sure to do that for you guys. Let's move on to the next tank. Alright, on to the next tank. We are at my 75 gallon tank where we have a fireman flower horn, I believe is what it's called. An African cichlid, and that's actually the parents to the babies back at the 90 gallon. Two cigar sharks. And then, of course, one of my favorites, the long nose gar. I'll see if I can get a uh, better view of him. There he is. Yeah, long nose gar. Really, he's really cool. Pellet trained. There's a tiny rainbow shark in there. There's also a jaguar. There he is. There's also a synodontus catfish in here. Uh, feather finned. Uh, you can kind of see him. Sorry that about all the stuff at the bottom. It's not poop. It's just algae grown on the rocks. Because the uh, pleco that's in here, if you know about plecos, eventually, once they hit a certain age, they'll stop eating algae. So it's just kind of grown. So I got to get a new algae eater. But that's everything in the 75. Sorry about the glare, too. There's a lot of smudges on the glass. I got to clean it. So sorry about that. But uh, let's move on to the next tank. Alrighty, we are here at the 150. Like I said, sorry about all the glare. There's a lot of glare. But uh, in here we have a Oscar. He's big. And then one of my favorite fish, definitely up there, is my West African lungfish. He's two foot and oh my gosh, he is awesome. Oh, he thinks I'm gonna feed him. But he has such a personality. Um, they he, he is very aggressive. Um, he actually killed one of my guards. I had a Florida guard in here, and he ended up killing it, which I was really mad about. But is you live and learn. And back there is a 18 inch shovel tiger shovel nose marble Akara hybrid. And I saw him at the store. I've never heard of one before. And I was like, I got to get it. So I got it. There's also two common plecos in here. And oh yeah. I think it's feeding time. Yeah, like I said, I will do a feeding video. So you got to wait, buddy. All right, moving on to the next tank. In the 10 gallon tank, just for quarantine, we have a electric catfish, baby. Yes, an electric catfish. He is super cool, has a great personality, and he will actually swim up 
to me sometimes, but right now he's just a little camera shy. Um, there is a lot of LG in the back, so sorry about that. I can't really get back there with my uh, scraper, but he is really cool. And let's move on to the next tank. All right, before I move on to the next tank, I was already over here, so I figured I'd take a quick video of it real quick. These are 29 gallon tanks that I am setting up. And as you can see, water's running everything. Everything's just fine. I just need to get the heaters right because the heaters, the top part is broken where you turn the temperature. So I'm just fixing that right now. But yeah, this tank, these tanks are gonna be awesome. I think most of them are gonna be planted tanks. Um, technically, I could start putting fish in here, but right now I just wanna get sand at the bottom because sand, in my opinion, is always best for fish and plants. Yep, 29 gallon tanks. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, here at the 20 gallon tank, we got a baby Mabu puffer. I haven't really posted about him because recently he did have ick, but he, it seems to be going away. But he's doing really good now. As you can see, it doesn't look like there's anything on him now, but he has such personality. He's an awesome fish. And we're actually getting him a 900 gallon tank in the future so that he's he has room to swim around in. Finally, at the last and biggest tank, we have the 300 gallon pond with my Matoro Stingray, my Tupaku, my Iridescent Shark, and of course, my biggest fish, the Red Tail Cat. This Red Tail is a beast. She'll come right up to me for feeding. And she has a great personality, always follows me around when she's hungry. And like I said, I am going to put a feeding video in there. So you get to see her eat. She hand feeds. All of these guys actually hand feed. He's a little tricky, but he will sometimes hand feed. But these are all my monster fish. And don't worry. Sorry, that's the cats in the background. But don't worry. These guys are getting a bigger tank. We are building a 2,000 gallon tank. It's a huge tank. But it's going to look awesome when it is set up so these guys are going into a bigger tank we just got to finish building it alrighty then let's go ahead and feed some of these fish
Alrighty then, well that was all my fish tanks. I got a lot of crazy fish. Uh, some of you are probably thinking, why does this guy have so many fish? It's because I like them. Um, I think they're cool and awesome. But, uh, yeah, I there is one tank that I didn't put in the video because I don't know if I want to put the fish on the channel. It's not legal or anything. It's really cool, but originally I didn't want to put it on because I didn't want it to post it and then for it to die and then people to say that I don't know how to take care of fish. But I've had them for almost a year now. So if this video hits 10 likes, I, I don't think... This video is going to get a lot of views, to be honest. Um, but if it gets 10 likes, then I'll show it in another video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is Aquatic Slasher. I'm Joseph. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Alrighty, I just put the bloodworms in. It's slowly sinking down. Uh, the one... So I actually have a male and female. Um, zigzag eel. I believe that is the female. Oh, it's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.